Hello, welcome back to Super Spurs with me, DJ FM. I can't remember what episode we're on now, but the most important thing is that we are back for another episode. Today's matchup is against Galatasaray in the second round knockouts part of the Europa League. Um, as you'll be able to see from the screen here, the first leg finished nil-nil. Um, so, literally, I'm glad I didn't bring you the game because nothing happened at all. There was one highlight, I think two highlights in the second half, none in the first half. It was just a really dull game. Yeah, just nothing happened. Um, hoping for more or less the same, hoping for a goal. I don't want anything too much. The Dynamo game was just far too much for my heart. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. But yeah, as said, away from home today is going to be difficult. If we can get ourselves an away goal, we're in the driving seat. But it'll be tough. It's a hard game against Galatasaray. They've got some really good players in their team. But we'll see how we get on. In terms of the other games since we've been away, we've won against Bournemouth, a really entertaining game, scored in the last minute of injury time, so that was good. Unfortunately, dropped points against Leicester, which means as a result for the league table, we're now down into second place. Man City are two points ahead and a game ahead now. Yeah, it... it it's going to be difficult to catch them up. But we'll see. I mean, their game, their next game is against Everton. So that's massive um, in terms of the league game. So, but yeah, as I said, for today's matchup, we're going to be playing against Galatasaray. Let's get into the game. I've got the team all set. In terms of who's playing personnel wise, it's the normal team now. We've got people like Eric Dyer um, and sort of like bent to their back up to fit this now so it's just a case of having a standard team let's play out the final few matches of this season and really just see how we can go in terms of silverware if you realistically think about it the premier league is possibly out of bounds now so the europa league is our last chance to get some silverware so i really really want to win this game um but we'll see i said we'll see how we get on um Southampton parting ways with Ronald Koeman. I didn't even notice that. Um, not really bothered, to be honest. Um, more concentrating on this game. So, I'm going to say we're the favourites. Come on, boys. Let's try and motivate them for this game. I don't normally do the individual sort of like team talk, so to speak. I'm normally quite content with with what's going on, but in terms of the Gallup Test for our team, oh, let's have a look. so Jose Rodriguez, um, Gosh Greitz at right mid, Denayer uh, on loan from Man City, Podolski, Schneider, they've got some good players in their team, Jim Karashan from Reading, that's, that's surely not, Emmanuel Adebayor, oh, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you could just tell what's going to happen. It's going to be nil-nil into the 85th minute or something like that. And they're going to come and score with him getting the, equal, getting the winner. But the opening game is kicked off. Right. Let's see how we can get on. We're starting in an attacking style away from home. It's a bit dodgy. Hopefully we can just play out this highlight and then I'll change it up. But Harry Kane's on the attack now for us. What can he do? He's running at the defence, he's got really no one to go to. Kyrian Trippier makes the overrun from Song, ball in. Danea's cleared it to Deli Alley to Rose. Patient build up from us to Deli Alley to Lamella to Ericsson to Lamella. We're 1 0 up. Eric Lamella with a goal in the opening few minutes. Good build up play, slow build up play. Um, switching from one side of the pitch to the other. Really, really nice interplay there, and eventually the ball came through to Eric Lamella, and he managed to finish it off. It's still trying to load up a highlight. You ha you're not missing anything. It's just my laptop. Um, so here it is, Lamella to Eriksson. Nice one-two back to Lamella. Not even moving his feet there. That's quite impressive. <laughs> Bit of a glitch in the game. 
But a good finish all the same. Assist from Ericsson. Nice one too between him and Lamella. We're 1-0 up. It's 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to pause it. Standard formation instructions. Retain possession. Galatasaray now need two goals in this match to go through. So we're now in the driving seat. Firmly in the driving seat. Um, this is the point where just change the tactics up. Let's just slow the pace of it down. 36% possession is not good. 34 now. Um, I all I, I don't try to retain possession, but because I play such attack in football, the possessions are always low for me. And even when I change the tactic up to retain possession, it never alters at all. But Galatasaray just had their first chance of the game. A good save from Hugo Lloris. Um, and we've managed to get the clearance off there. So, other than the goal, that's the only shot we've had on target. We're struggling for possession. Um, here come Galatasaray, and they've scored from the corner. Uh, it's 1-1. Who was that marking? Schneider with the ball in. Who is that marking him? No, that's not right. Alderweireld. He's been making quite a few mistakes. He's been making... Yeah. Him and Vertonghen are awful when it comes to man marking. Song. 2-1 up. I was in the middle of having a rant about how bad <laughs> Alderweireld was. But Kane with a great layoff. Ball from Trippier. Kane leapt higher than anybody else. Song, the defending was poor, cuts back inside and slots home and it's 2-1. So Galatasaray have now got to get three goals if they want to progress. And it looks like that's going to be it for the half. So in terms of how things are going so far, cannot complain. I'm going to make a sub at half time. So I think we're struggling down this left-hand side, and it's evident here from so on Kieran Trippier's rating on here. I am going to go and bring Kyle Walker on, just to try and get a bit more energy and pace down that right-hand side and see how he fares. I feel sorry for Kyle Walker in this game because he is English, and the whole point of the series is to promote the English players and to really use them, but... Kieran Trippier is so good going forward and such a well-rounded player on this game. For me, I prefer playing with him. Kyle Walker, in terms of physical attributes, is good. He is very good, but Kieran Trippier has just got the more well-rounded player. Um, so Kyle Walker doesn't probably get as many chances as he should do. Um, I've started using him in a couple of other games so far this season. So the transfer request that he put in at the beginning, or at the end of January rather... He's now changed that and wants to stay here. But uh, the only highlight of the second half here, and it looks like it's going to be for us, Deli Ali plays a free to Lamella. He slots it home. 3-1. Game over. Galatasaray have got to score four goals. It ain't happening. It's not happening. Nothing at all has happened in the second half, but a simple ball through from Deli Ali. Into Lamella, first time volley, great hit. The goalkeeper just doesn't react to it properly. And at this point, I'm going to make a sub. I'm going to take Eric Dyer off. He's looking tired for Bentaleb. Let's change him up to a deep line playmaker. Let's switch up to counter attack in football. Stop running at the defence, hit the crosses early. Let's just retain the possession. Um, yeah, let's just slow things down a bit. We're in the lead. No need to go for it. But Bentaleb's going to come on for Eric Dyer. I said he's looking tired. I need him fresh for other games now. Um, Galloway. Oof, nearly, got him, nearly got us a fourth. The Chelsea game on the weekend now. Um, because of the result against Leicester. Has now become absolutely massive. If we want to continue to push for um, top of the table. Um, we've also got to play Man City in three games time as well. Um, so, 
Mel has nearly got himself another goal there. Juggled around a couple of players and managed to get a shot off. Um, I should be focusing on in this game, but the Premier League is now taking on... Because of how well we're doing, I, I expected us to get to the top four, but I wasn't expecting us to be in contention because the team is nowhere near at a point where I feel it should be. Um, but I'm just going to make a final sub. Zach Clough to come on to play the last few minutes. Yeah, as I said, the team is not at that point where I feel like it's good enough to win something like the Premier League. Um, but because of how well we're doing, we've got to try and push that as much as we can. Um, but, I mean, I got asked a question the other day during the press press thingy and um, I didn't even know but Man City are not actually in any competition at all now they're not even playing in the FA Cup or anything like that so I mean in terms of an advantage they've they've got an advantage now that we're going to be playing Thursday Sunday now for another couple of weeks Lamella's just got himself another goal I believe that's his hat trick. It is his hat trick. Tenth goal of the season. Um, and that just caps off a fantastic performance. If we did if we did that during the first game, I probably wouldn't have shown you this <laughs> because it'd just been a waste of time. Um, but four one winners. Fantastic game. Let's congratulate the team. Well done boys. Good victory. They seem happy. The draw is actually on the next day, so you might as well stick with me now. Um, I'm just going to say, we're not going to get ahead of get ahead of ourselves. Happy with the contribution. As long as we're in the competition, we've got a chance of winning it. Early bonus. Song was good. Song's always good. Lamellas did fantastic there. Let's just clear the entire team. We've got Chelsea in three days. I'll show you my fixture. So we've got Chelsea, Swansea, then the Europa League, Man City, Europa League. That is going to be a massive strain on the team. But Swansea are in 14th, Sunderland are in 15th. I'm hoping I can use the so-called backup team around those games just to try and, try and spread things out because otherwise the, the first team is going to be absolutely knackered. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, these are a couple of players I'm scouting at the moment. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore these for the time being. I'll come back to those in a bit um, because I really just want to get this Europa League draw. Come on, Let's have a look. here we go. This is what I'm talking about. 24 players. We'll deal with that in a minute. View the draw. Core finals. Valencia. Fiorentina. I'll take that. CSK. I'll take that. There's some hard teams left in here. But we'll be facing CSK in the quarter finals of the Europa League. Um, the next game that I'll be bringing you will be the Man City game. That's huge. That's going to come to you next. All right. That'll wrap up today's video. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, um, check out the Twitter page. Or again, normal thing. Details will be in the description below. A massive result for us here. Things are now starting to heat up. Two competitions still to go for. Can we do it? I'll see you against Man City. Until next time, adios.